can you sit with me like this yes good sir hello everybody today we are going to wreck this journal not literally though we're going to make it pretty and as you can see this book is already pretty thick and this video is sponsored by Karen markers so I'm going to use those throughout the video so here's the book again and you can see that I started it in 2017 and I already completely customized it so it looks completely different and it's very thick. And for the first piece I wanted to use this alcohol marker paper and at first I just tried whether it would work with the markers since they're water based markers and not alcohol markers. It worked okay-ish, but due to the fact that this paper is very thin, I decided to go for it anyway. Kind of regretted that later on because it didn't work that well with the markers, but I'm still happy with the page that I got. And this page in the book is fill this page when you are angry. So I decided to draw something that makes me angry and it's not my cat, not usually anyways. This is Finn. In the introduction you saw Saro, the other cat. And Finn, as well as Saro, both of them, they like to... Um, how do I put this in a nice way? Sometimes they're little naughty boys and uh, Finn and also Sarah, both of them have previously tried to chew on my plants and they're not allowed near them without supervision. But uh, I mean here and there, they might get a leaf or two or uh, even at least try to get them, let's say it as that. And here's Finn trying to or chewing on some leaves from one of my favorite plants. And I had this reference picture of him where he did not have a plant in his mouth because if he has a plant in his mouth, I will not take a picture. I will go ahead and remove it. But I decided to draw this and then I used this scrapbook paper as a background because I realized that the other paper would not be good enough for a background piece but I'm really happy with how this turned out in the end and I do get angry when my cats break something or do something that puts them in danger so I think that was a cute way to fill this page and here's the first page spread for this video and for the next one I had to trace my toes well that was awkward <laughs> And here you can see the outline of my toes. In hindsight, I wish I would have traced my toes on the paper that I was painting on. Here I decided to use watercolor paper because that works so well with these markers because you can blend them and they blend almost like watercolors very similarly and I think it's just so fun to work with them if you have the correct paper. And I decided to do this kind of beach scene and I wanted to have the feet on the beach scene but I didn't really want to draw feet because the idea of drawing my feet kind of weirded me out so I decided to stick with the outline because I'm not really at a beach so it kind of fits because it looks more like a silhouette or a shadow or something uh, in the end and it kind of fits because I'm not really at a beach but I wish I was at a beach so um, that's kind of the uh, story that I'm going with here and you can see that I did really a mixture of uh, using the markers as they are and also blending the markers and I had so much fun with this and this was probably uh, my favorite page to work on for this. I mean I really love the page with the cat because it kind of makes me happy and smile even though it's supposed to make me angry but this one is just something where I had a lot of fun to paint it I had a lot of fun in the process of this and if you are working on any water soluble medium in a rectus journal book then I recommend here and there putting some really 
good quality paper in it. I know it's making the book super thick and my book is already super thick, but at this point I think I'm starting to accept that it will be extremely thick in the end. And I mean, it's worth it to use some good quality paper here and there. And so I did that here and I had a really good time, like I already said. Sir, what do you think about the markers? Is it a good marker? Yes cat approved. It's a cat approved marker. And a rectus journal is usually a book that you are meant to wreck like the title says and to break it but um, this was a trend years ago on YouTube and that actually this book brought me back into art in 2017 and so uh, here and there I like to revisit this book and do some art journal idea pages and just have some fun in this book because there's much less pressure to create a masterpiece if you work in a book that's meant to be destroyed and not meant to be made pretty so i really recommend getting a prompt journal of some sorts to get the creative juices flowing so here you can see the pages now in the book and i had to cut out the toes it was a weird kind of process so like i said i would have just traced them on that paper in hindsight and not on a book but it created this cool 3D effect uh, with the cutout, as you can see here. And I think it's actually quite a cool page. And the last page spread for today is going to be this page where it tells you to close the journal and scribble on the edges. And I already did that. The edges are super messed up at this point because the book is so thick, but I never decorated this page. So that's what I did today. And these are probably the easiest pages to decorate because it doesn't really tell you what to do and you can do whatever you want. And so I did that and just used the space around the book here to scribble something because that's kind of, it goes with the theme of this. And I did this I don't know if I can call this a centangle because it's basically very messy compared to a real centangle, but it's something like that. It's a, a doodly centangle kind of thing. And I decided to stick to a limited color palette here. And then on the left side, again, I used some better quality paper. I think that was pretty cheap watercolor paper that I used here. And I decided to do this little landscape. And at first I wanted to make the silhouette blue, but then later on I changed my mind and made it black because it looked much better. But I wanted to stick to the same color scheme as on the doodle page here. So everything would go very well together. And I'm really glad I did because it makes everything look so much more cohesive. And here you can see that I'm adding in the black now and I think it looks much better because it gives much more contrast than the blue but if maybe also darker blue would have worked but I'm glad that I uh, added the black in the end and I made this kind of a lake to uh, by using the pen texture and then blending everything together and this is what that last page spread looks like now. I hope you got some inspiration from all of this. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did so, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to check out Karen Markers and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Come on, honey. I know this is very interesting, but you have to look in this direction. You're proof of the book? No, 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 no. Stay here. This is good box. Yes, you love boxes, I know. Can you look over there? Honey, stop scratching yourself. Are you falling asleep over there?